Hey everyone, it's the route. It's the end of a long week, and I figured I would show you what I've been up to. Check it out. Right, I've been uh, commuting a lot this week, and it is Friday, and uh, I just got home. Some orange, white, fat racist is now the head of America. Um, so I'm gonna drown my sorrows with some wine. All right, let's start off with what have I been doing? Um, so I've been getting a Leviathan Dreadnought ready to go. Um, it's kind of been base coated. It, it needs it need a little bit more work because my airbrush started to have a bit of a fit last night and it had a fit because I haven't cleaned it in a while. So kids, clean your airbrush. Anyway, I'm cleaning it now. Um, I've got two in the go here. I don't know if you can see this, but these make really good kind of soaking devices and it's all compartmentalized. This was super cheap, it's like a couple of quid. And um, so I've got the various parts in each thing and I can kind of keep track of them. So I've left it soak a little bit overnight because they were both crappy. Um, the ones I'm doing at the moment is my Iwata Eclipse, which is the first one I ever bought. And it's this thing's been amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, and then the other one uh, is the Badger, the 105 Patriot. Uh, a friend of mine recommended that. Um, and that one's been pretty good. That's the workhorse. I tend to like if I'm covering big things with it and stuff like that. I tend to do that. Um, I've got a few others. Um, I've got a Sotar 2020, which I managed to get from American Amazon for like, uh, I think it was, I think they were, it was ridiculous anyway, whatever it was. I think it was something like $400 original and we got it for 50. It was it was stupid. But it had to be in America and luckily my wife at the time was living in America. So uh, she bought a couple, which is great. Um, so yeah, so I've had these in a solution. I've got them in a, it's been in isopropanol and water and various bits, not water. Um, another cleaner so they've been soaking overnight other stuff I've got I've got this cool I've got an Awata cleaning set um, when I bought my other thing because it was just it was cheap and easy to buy and it comes with these which is great um, you get a shit ton of I just noticed Awata branded pipe cleaners which is hilarious um, you get kind of slightly more Delicate, I guess. Uh, airbrush stuff. Hands of ones. Um, I don't think I've ever used these. Even more cleany brushy things. Uh, get these kind of ones without the brushes, which are good for like poking stuff and getting bits of paint and scrape out. Uh, studio wipes, which I've never used. Uh, yeah. Get your uh, tool. Um, then you get this cool little device. Um, how does it work? There we go. Yep. And it's got a light on it. So. Jesus, I can't actually see anything. Got what? Checking out. Infrared. Oh wow. That's pretty neat. Cool. Anyway, there you go. Serious cleaning devices. Anyway, these have been cleaned while well, I've been mostly focused on the eclipse, if I'm honest. The badger's kind of, it's been stuck, whatever, you know, um, I've got a bit more to take on that. So anyway, I've been doing this, um, I've got that to paint, I've got the Leviathan to paint, I have a kind of other thing to paint, and I've got maybe some custodes to paint for the, for the next thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, I hadn't planned on doing it, but. I think maybe we will now. There's some cool stuff that maybe, maybe won't happen. We'll see. Um, 
that's for this tournament, this thing I'm playing in at a new club that I went to check out. Just talk about that. So, um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I've just moved from where I've been living for almost 20 years. And I moved all the way down towards Windsor. Um, and I was kind of like, okay, it's cool. Get to see my wife more, which is good, because she works down this way. But what am I going to do about gaming? So I kind of put a few feelers out and found out, you know, got recommended a club in Uxbridge. Um, that has a night on a Monday. And I went down on Monday and had my first game. I played a dude called Will, who uh, we played a 30k game. Um, I had my Heresy um, Word Bearers. We played 3,000 points. So I was basically taking my 2,500 point list that I want to run in some tournaments this year. He had um, he had his tournament list, because we both, we didn't realise at the time, but we do now, we're both going to... Uh, Greg Dan's tournament, 30k tournament in London, which is is a, a 1500 and a 3000 point tournament. So the games are mixed up, which I think would be quite fun because 1500 points in Heresy is not much and games will go quite quickly. Um, so that would be interesting. Anyway, Will wanted to try out his 3000 point list. And uh, I hadn't really worked out what I was going to do for my extra 500 points yet. Um, he had um, he brought a Mastodon, so it's the first time I'd ever s sort of played against a Mastodon, which was interesting. Um, and we played one of the missions out of the rule book, or out of the rules for that tournament, which I believe Dan's made. Um, and it was fun. It's like it was called Onslaught, or it's like a variation of Onslaught, and you have to. Uh, I think it's Onslaught. You have to get into um, the opponent's half, and you score points from turn two when you're in the other opponent's half, and you can bring units back and stuff like that. So that was fun. Um, and I'll, But I'm going to talk about that in a bit because there were some things. It, it's really interesting. It was cool. First off, it was Will's a really cool dude and his army is really beautifully painted. Um, and it was cool. You know, the club was great. Everyone was super friendly. Loads of people down there. Um, you know, typical kind of club, I guess. Very you know, similar in many ways to the one I'm used to back up in Leamington. Um, obviously, I know the guys in Leamington a lot more, so um, you know it'll take a while to get to know people, I guess. But that's just the way it is. But yeah, Will was cool, nice dude. We had a really fun game. Uh, he's definitely my kind of opponent. In that, you know, you kind of you're there to have fun. Uh, we went there to try and push each other's fucking shit in, which was cool. Um, you know, I don't know all the rules, um, so it was kind of it's always good when you're playing somebody that's kind of you know, they know the rules, they're, they're kind of happy to help or sort of, you know, point you in the right direction or kind of remind you of something that you might have forgot or got wrong and vice versa as well. So that was cool. Good opponent, nice dude, definitely play him again. But, and I'm going to do a bit of a sort of, I want to do another chat about this. After I got back, you know, it's, it's one of these things and I do it all the time and I think we probably, it's a common gamer thing is you forget what your army does. You know, you suddenly get back home from wherever you've been and you're suddenly like, oh, shit, I had melter bombs. Or, oh, I could reroll this. Or even a mission, even part of the mission thing is like, ah, oh, crap. Um, I forgot that. Anyway, so um, I'm going to do another talk just about that because it was it was I've I've kind of got fed up of doing it. It's something that I do. My, I know like everyone does it that I play with as well. Like I know Mike does it. There's always a game you finish and you suddenly go, oh shit! Like like I played Mike the other day and we were playing and he had a he had a tank and basically was shooting it one shot and it's got two shots and he should have been shooting two shots at me and it's the second time he's done it and. I don't, I've not, you know, I forgot, so I could have reminded him, but I completely forgot as well until afterwards, and I read the rules because I want to use them on myself. And I was like, shit, he had two shots, which would, probably would have made a big difference, to be honest. You know, it would have made a, it would have made a difference. So anyway, I'm going to do a little thing about that, but you know, love to hear, hear what you guys think. Do you suffer the same problem? Do you forget? And if you do, what do you do? 
to um, rectify the forgetting. All right. So next up, um, some more wine. Those, um, the Raven Guard are looking pretty cool. Um, I've got all the shoulder pads done. Uh, I'm gonna do eye lenses. I just bought uh, another thing I found. This guy, I've been sort of, when moving house, I've been kind of um, getting all my miniatures in boxes and moving them and things like that. And I've kind of half painted this bad dad for my corn demon army a while back anyway i got it out and i was like oh man i love that model i've kind of i can't remember where i've got to find the shoulder guards and stuff because he's kind of got margaret thatcher shoulders without that we need to get rid of those anyway you know now i'm doing the word bearers i'm like oh this would make a really cool kind of proxy for like one of those sort of um the cheap contemptors or it's big enough to you know you can even say it's a leviathan anyway it's super cool i really like it. this guy so there we go. Anyway, I think this guy's great. I love it. And I've suddenly dug him back out and I'm painting him up again. And um, I don't know, I'll probably use him for something in some sort of game. Dreadnought E or I think he'd make a good Dreadnought and kind of proxy him in. He's got a sort of power thingy and this thing. This is actually a crazy rule in for, in 30k. You can kind of like drag models over towards you and stuff and then jack the shit out of them. Anyway, that's that. Um, Alright, that's that. Also, we went to Warhammer World last week and bought a ton of stuff. Um, my wife does watches all this YouTube where girls go and do shopping hauls, which I think is hilarious. Um, so I'm going to do a, sh a nerd shopping haul. Um, I got hold of, so if you go to Warhammer World, they've got loads of these left. Loads. Um, so I picked up one of those, so I think that's a great thing for my uh, word bearers. Uh, they've also got loads of these left, the Praetor and Cataphracti. Um, and I'm like, yep, that'll be a good conversion, so I grabbed one of those. If you've been playing Blood Bowl, you will know about these. If you've been playing Blood Bowl in England, and I assume everywhere else, you'll also know that they are really hard to get hold of. Um, every time I go into any of the shops to try and pick one up, they're always sold out. But at the motherland, they have them. So, Skaven team. Um, which is cool, I'm looking forward to painting up. Although, Duncan's week of Blood Bowl has inspired me to convert my own team. Which I think has been amazing. Um, right, these are for my Space Wolves. Underslung Las Cannons. I just thought they looked so cool and I thought, you know what? It's so easy to go into the heresy and fall into the trap of going for the Volkai Culverins because they just have some shots and they're badass and you should do it. If you haven't done it, do it. But um, I thought, you know, tank hunting or something like that. So I've gone for that. Uh, more Galvor back for the word bearers. Um, yeah, I want to run 10 of those because they're amazing. What else? What else? Um, Space Wolf bodies. Fancy some of them to look cool. Um, I got two Melter Lancers for the Leviathan. Um, so I can swap weapons out and stuff like that. I shopped pretty hard actually. I shopped pretty hard. Um, more Space Wolf bodies. Uh, another snippy claw for the Leviathan so I can run it as a uh, close combat. Um, space Wolf shoulder pads. And some more Space Wolf bodies. So I've got another 15. I got more Warrior Bearers Legion. And I got House Macabius. I uh, transfer sheet because I'm going to do my Knight Porphyron as Macabius to go as my um, Lord of War in the uh, 30k Heresy. And uh, I got a Mastodon. I don't know what Legion yet, probably Space Wolves, but I'm waiting for the book. And when the book comes out, we'll decide. Alright, that's my shopping haul. See you later. Peace. Bye.